So the notes feature is a very cool function that allows users to add notes um, into your app. There's nothing that you need to do for this. You can just change it from say notes to something that might fit, maybe wish list. Uh, say you've got an app for Christmas presents or if you've got a learning app, maybe they can take notes from what they've learned within the app. Or if you host sort of webinars or presentations and you have an app built for your customers, they can take notes down um, within your app on the webinar presentation or training presentation that you're hosting. If you've built an app for seminars or events that happen around the world, they can use the notes feature within the app to take down notes that they are learning from the seminar or maybe to store emails of contacts that they meet in any seminar or event. I mean, you can literally add the notes feature into any type of app that you have, no matter what niche it is, no matter what business sector you're in. I mean, I know people who have built fan apps on certain TV shows and they've added the notes feature into their app because what they do is they send out a notification to some content they've posted in their app, letting them know, by the way, we're going to be hosting um, a competition that's going to ask you certain questions about tonight's episode. Um, make sure you use the notes feature within this app to note down any relevant information that you come across, because whoever answers these questions first will be the winner. And then when the TV show ends, They'll send out a push notification, which will direct them to a form builder page that they've created with different questions and options that people can choose in relation to the program that they've watched. The user fills it in, they'll enter in their name and email, which is important because now they've got another means to contact that user. They'll click submit and then they get back to whoever's one. And you may ask, why would you do that? Well, the, the reason why you do it is because it's creating engagement within your app. So this is a fan-based app that people have. They're opening up the app, they're taking notes, and they are using your app. So don't underestimate how powerful that is if you can get someone to use your app whilst doing something that they actually love as well, whether it be watching a program which they really enjoy, and they're using your app as a companion app same for a lot of gaming um, apps in terms of they have guides for how to do such and such in some PS4 games or Xbox One games or whatever. Sometimes you need to store notes in games. I, I play games often and I forget a few things and I wish I just had a pen and paper beside me. No one uses pen and paper anymore but if I had the app my phone is always in my pocket or sitting beside me in the sofa, I could just pick up my phone, type it in quickly into the notes, and again, within that app, you could count your argument and say, oh, but there's notes features already on phones. Well, if your phone's like mine, the notes feature, it's a complete shambles, is disorganized, and I can't find anything which I put on it in the first place. But if I know that I've got my information that I require in an app, which I use, relating to a topic which I am passionate about, then it all fits together. Again, you don't need to do anything. You can enter in whatever you want here. You can select the icon that you want. So if you click here, you can choose whatever icon you want to use, or you can add your own to appear here. And then it's simply a matter of people can add in notes. My note title. And what my note is. Do, do, do. click OK and then you can see here the note is added in if they want to delete the note they with their thumb they just slide it across and they can click on delete and it will delete the note it's even a nice big date to show people that note was made and a search function so they can find any previous notes they've made by entering in the keywords that they're looking for so again it's a very powerful feature so make sure you make use of it within your apps